Hi friends, welcome back. We're going to be playing some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're going to be taking a look at, at Nazebo, the Witch Doctor. I hear the call. Alrighty, it looks like we're going to be playing on the Cursed Hollow map. Uh, friendly teams, we have Vala, Uther, Abathur, Nazebo, and Kerrigan. No tanks there, you will notice, plus an Abathur, so it's going to be a pretty terrible composition for us to deal with against Lily, Tychus, Espen, and Zagara, and Illidan. They don't have a tank either, but they do have Zagara and Tychus, which are really good at keeping us at bay, plus Illidan who can chase like a demon and punish you if you overextend yourself. Uh, I am playing Nazebo, which is a ranged uh, specialist. And our first trait we're going to pick up is Death Five, Ritual, which will four, make minion kills, three, give us permanent health and two, mana bonus. So basically, one. when I kill up as many baddies as we can, Five. little little minions, so we can get more health and more mana down the line. Ah, and that's basically, I uh, well, again, th there's no necessarily last hitting in this game. So all you got to do is make sure that you do an ability at the at the minions within, like I believe, is four seconds of their death, and then they will give you stacks, and over time that will basically carry us. Oh, we are having some lag here. As I've said before, the servers have been a little unstable, which is a little regrettable. I'm also in the middle of the woods, Welcome back. which you makes this whole here. experience really interesting since my internet is terror bad. Uh, but hopefully that won't happen too many uh, too often. We do have Asim down here in the top lane, which is a good matchup, seeing as how there is that's their specialist. And we're going to do some damage to make him back out of here. The thing that Asmodad does, does really well is that he summons these little minions and, uh, and that big demon guy right there in the middle. And that empowers other minions in the lane, allowing them to push in their own. That also so there, his death laser, as you can see there. If you stand in there, he's going to hurt you really badly. But ain't nothing but a chicken wing. We're going to basically just sit here and soak some XP for the team. Let's try to split the lane in two. So that some of the zombies from my zombie wall. Oh yeah, sorry, my abilities. Q is uh, corpse spiders. I love a little jar full of spiders that attack enemies. My W is zombie wall. It puts. It's more like a rotunda, really, than a wall. It's a circle of zombies uh, that will trap any enemy inside, and I can I can put it down if I really need to. Um, you know, in case I mess up and I catch myself on one of my friendly targets. And finally, E is, I believe it's called Plague of Toads. Yeah, it's basically I unleash a bunch of little froggies that they hop. Look at them, they're so cute. And then they explode whenever they reach a target, doing a bunch of damage. Uh, it looks like we're getting pushed pretty hard here without Uther. So, you know, we don't have the sustain. Um, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna react to this. It looks like they are doing a really good job bottom lane containing Zagara, so it might be worth taking this little bit of a push early on. Uh, for our next tier talent, we're gonna pick up Envenom. The reason why I pick up Envenom instead of uh, thing that there's another talent that basically empowers my abilities every time I get a hero kill is that we don't have a tank, so I expect to be dying rather frequently in this map. As you can see, the tribute is up top. Uh, it's going to take 10 seconds for it to spawn, so there's no need for me to rush down there. Might as well stay here and save the fort. Share it on the kills. And gather a little bit more XP so we can catch up in levels. Okay, we're going to drop a zombie wall right there. So that they can't grab the tribute while my teammates don't make their way up here. Uh, I'm going to ping for help, but it looks like this is going to be me and Kerrigan. And mostly just Kerrigan, actually. Going to invent him. Uh, now I see. Yeah, man, this is bad. Well, we're getting no help, so this is probably gonna be the game there. Oh man, I really want to kill that Illidan, but I can't stand there. I'm also out of mana, which causes problems. Oh, okay, we're gonna turn on Illidan since I can't run from here. And we're gonna die. That's fine. See, this is why I picked Envenom instead of the ability power thing. Uh, I expect to die. As you can see, Uther over here is uh, dead on the bottom lane, not helping. Abathor is a weird hero. You might see him on the minimap. You might, you might wonder, like, wait, why is that guy not helping? He actually is. What Abathor does is he stands in lane and he spawns these little locust dudes, uh, little crab persons, and they push. And he can, at the same time, all his abilities are global, so from there he can see the whole map. And then if every now and then you'll see one of us with a little, little guy on top of our heads. So that's Abathor's little top hat. Venom there and ask him to push him back a little bit. And basically he can help you out. He can put shields as ultimate. He can also clone one of your heroes and take control of him. So that way when you have team fights, you can basically have 
5v5 rather than 5v4. It's a really interesting hero. He was changed dramatically recently, so a lot of players are having a hard time uh, playing him because he's very different now. As you can see, I'm having a really hard time here with this push. We did catch Lily. She can do some damage with the Toads. Uh, for our next ability, we're going to pick Gibden, or Gibden, which is going to empower our abilities. Uh, not much I can do here. Other than that, and then try to stay together. We do have the tribute in the bottom one in the middle lane. Oh, middle to bottom. He's gonna try to clean this up real quick before we go. That one, and then try to stick together with Vala, even though I don't know what she's doing. Uh, but it looks like Illidan's gonna get there no problem since none of our teammates decided to to go get that. <laughs> so you can see disasters game already. Uh, it looks like there is a team fight ensuing, so I'm gonna try to make my way down there. As you can see, that's the t that's a little top hat from Avathor. Uh, we're gonna make our way here. Let's see if I can lure Illidan into Kerrigan. She did not fall for it. That would have been neat. A little trap. Uh, I suppose I should head back up top since we're not gonna be able to secure a kill and try to. Make sure uh, Asmoden doesn't push this fort. Slash, I want to get a little bit more experience. You can see I am a whole yeah. two levels behind our enemy. And uh, this is pretty bad here. Considering we are also a little bit at mana. Some damage on him. We have to fight for this tribute. Uh, so you can see down here in the bottom. Uh, Sorry, I didn't explain this, guys. I probably should. I know you. Mo all, not all of you guys are super familiar with the with the game. Shield Basically, once you get three of these little things, uh, you pretty much curse the enemy team. And once you curse the enemy team, they take increased damage. And no, sorry, they don't take increased. I'm completely all over the place today. Their minions will take uh, one hit point. They'll take. That's all they'll have. They'll have one hit point, so that you'll be able to kill them no problem. And their forts will not fire that duration so I gotta back out of there because I don't want to die luckily our venom will be up so we'll put that on him and we'll be able to clean that up no problem our fort does go down but we do get level 10 which means ultimate abilities uh, but I'm out of mana as you can see so I'm gonna try to put some stuff down here to stall and let's back out like for our level 10 ability, our ultimate ability, we have two options. We have Gargantuan, who summons a giant monster thing to fight for us. Or Ravenous Spirits, arguably one of the best ultimates in the game. Why not go for that one? Basically, Ravenous Spirit is a channel thing, so I will be vulnerable while casting it, but it does an absurd amount of damage, especially once you get to level 20 and you can improve it. Uh, the big thing here is going to be positioning. Again, part of the problem being that we don't have a tank. So... It makes it very difficult for me to uh, cast this ultimate effectively. I'm gonna go in there and do a lot of damage, push them back, try to push Scar back. You can see this basically scares the Jesus out of them. But at the same time, not much we can do there. Oh, we almost got Tychus. We're gonna put a zombie wall in front of him so he dies, and we are gonna be able to pick up the kill there. Try to switch to Illidan since he does a lot of damage. Uh, with any, like any other game, you want to focus on your healers and damage dealers first, depending on the team composition. I might die here. Yep, it looks like I'm gonna die. That's fine. One by one. All right, they're gonna clean up our team, which is regrettable. Which means they're gonna get that again, and that's another curse. Or is it the first curse? I believe this is the first curse. Sorry, guys. I'm really tired. Uh, had a hard time sleeping because basically I live in the woods, so uh, yesterday's video took forever to upload. Uh, my interface is terrible. Uh, and I have to do this whole thing where, where I upload it. I sort of have to babysit it because if you don't do anything on the computer, the connection will every now and then just time out, which is really, really annoying. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's try to do make something happen here. Reability. Smartly dodges out of here. Let's get some venom and do some damage on him. Try to get him down. We're not going to be able to kill him, but we do move him out. It's important that we kill these minion waves. Vala's going very deep there. No need to go that deep, Vala. 
Uh, we should be playing defense at the moment because we are cursed. As you can see, our forts do not fire our minions. We have one hit point, so we gotta make sure we clean these up in order to uh, to make sure we don't get everything destroyed. Asmodon is pushing here in the top lane. We gotta go deal with that as that key falling is the worst thing that can happen to us. For our next year talent, we are gonna get sprint so we can uh, deal with our movement restrictions a little better. Uh, let's clean this up so that we don't want to be on the other tower. We're two levels behind, which makes team fighting completely one sided at this point, especially because we don't have a tank and they have really, really high damage dealers. Uh, let's get back here, see if we can discourage these guys from coming into our base, killing our dudes. Uh, our team is split. We should be down here, so I'm going to pick for some assistance. But it doesn't look like anybody's gonna come help me out. So Kerrigan died somewhere in the middle. Uh, this is one of those things where you gotta measure your priorities. Uh, the keep is more important than the fort, and that's the only reason why I suggested that the teammates come this way. Uh, let's grab our nav there from the sippy cup before it goes away. Yes. And try not to get too overextended. We don't want we wanna push them back, but we don't wanna you know get lured into a trap or anything like that. Hey, died middle. So we should probably go defend that fort at this point. Although I don't know what they're doing. Must not delay. I guess we're going to continue pushing here so it's the same lane and let Asmodan take that and see if we can make something happen here. Ah, that was my bad. I moved that out of the way. Out of the way. Carrying had nailed a really good Really good uh, slow there, which would have basically meant when we get the win. But trap Lily there. We do trap Lily. We're gonna make them slow down a little bit. As we're still pushing middle, we are in deep, deep trouble here. We're on the ropes. Uh, don't know what else to do. I guess I'm gonna ult here to push them back. As you can see, my ultimate does a lot of damage and does discourage people from coming here, which will let us get a little bit of breathing room. I don't know why Uther's going so deep. He's probably going to die. Uh, let's see if we can go help him. There's, again, there's no need for you to chase. At this point, we're playing really defensively. Our hope is to wipe the enemy team uh, in a team fight uh, so we can make up for that level difference. Uh, I'm going to go help carry him here so we can kill these a little faster. As you can see, we're not going for the breathing room. Uh, because they only have one, so it's not the end of the world, and also because uh, we don't want to die. Uh, we probably could kill Asmodon here if Carrion wanted to, but I guess he doesn't want to because he's trying to defend. And uh, go back to the bottom, try to defend. I don't know why Vala's dying again. Oh, this, this is a this is a rough game again. Without a without a tank, it's not really anybody's fault in particular. You have to play really on your game uh, when you don't have a tank and you have Avatar because basically you have a really hard time engaging. And they have a lot of characters that can get in and do a lot of damage really quick and then back out uh, without taking you know being much worth of wear. And also, you know, they have the level difference, which is always a problem. Uh, we also have Sagara down here, so we can gank her. Who can Ganking gather Sagara would be a good thing. Ugh! Not and we need to win the team fight. We need to push for that tribute. I'm gonna ping to make sure they know that we need to go out there. Uh, our next talent we're gonna grab is gonna increase our damage to heroes. We basically have a poison as her as her trade voodoo ritual, and it's gonna do a little more damage to enemy heroes. Uh, we do have yes. Lily over there. Let's not get distracted. We gotta zone out for our team. Make sure that they're coming out. They're gonna take that. Um, that keep it looks like. So I'm gonna head back. Try to defend. Not much I'm gonna be able to do. But might as well put some damage out there. Shout some some African curses at them and scare them, hopefully. Uh, with my boot head. Okay, it looks like we are gonna engage here. Put a little curse on Illidan. 
plus the guards. Ultimate is going to maul our team, trapping them in there, but they are going to be able to get out. And then put another zombie wall there. Ooh, Illidan with that annoying giant jump. Hopefully we can kill him. I'm going to dive here just to kill Illidan. Uh, it's like, Juke City, Juke City, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out, we gotta get out, we gotta go, we gotta go. And some more. And Illidan's gonna probably kill us here. Oh, he does not, so we're gonna go back in here really quick. Try to heal up and get back into the fight. Uh, Vala does manage to get the enemy Illidan there, which is a big win. We need that, we need to get as many kills as possible. Uh, I am gonna go here. And try to deal with this so we don't lose, lose a second to keep. That should be enough to uh, push that back. Let's get back into the team fight. Hopefully, I can ultimate somewhere here if our teammate gets him in a compromising position. Try to do some damage, trying to make something happen. If we can get a full team wipe, that's when we can turn things around. We can then go clear the boss, get some mercenary camps, and we get a fort, uh, tower or two, a fort or two, and that should help us out. The problem here is that these catapults are going to do a really good job of pushing the, the lane, the bottom lane, all the way to our core. So, at this point, after losing the keep, we basically have to be on our toes, because every now and then we're going to have to come back and manually clean that out, since our minions are no longer going to be equally matched with the enemy minions. Uh, I would assume they're over here. That would be my guess if I were them. That's yes. what I would be doing. You can see that they took that other mercenary camp, so they're gonna go try to get this boss, I would imagine. Right, I'm gonna ult right here. And try to get them out. Uh, that's probably a bad ult. I thought this was gonna be a little better. But I did manage to get them out of position. Um, oh well, well, we're here. And I kinda wish I hadn't ulted there. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, we have a big team fight coming up here. I'm put a wall there. Try to get them out. Um, sprint away. Also, Illidan has that ridiculous catching up ability. And I am going to get taken out. No problem. Um, as well as our team. They're all going to die. And Uther as well. And they're going to pick up that curse. No problem. At the same time, you see you have a mercenary camp going in the middle lane. And another mercenary camp going in the top lane. So at the very least, they have 40 seconds. This should be good game. But at the very least, they are going to cripple us terribly. Which means we won't be able to come back from it. But that's okay. It happens. Again, uh, part of the problem that's happening uh, feel since the beta started is the compositions have been a little wacky. A lot of people don't like playing tanks. Uh, a lot of people like playing assassins, so you have these assassin heavy, specialist heavy teams that are a little unbalanced, and especially again, Abathor, um, as you can see, he did 73, 36,000 seed damage. It's not bad, but look at Asmodem, 138, 140,000. Uh, so, you know, it's not comparable. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, you can't win them all. I'm still getting used to this recording things, and I hope to see you guys next time.